Hey guys, as most of you already know, beginning of every month we give a couple of little packets of random Japanese stuff away to some random supporters on our Patreon page. So here we go. So those of you who haven't seen this before, we employ a five-year-old to go down the list of people and randomly click a mouse. So it's very, very random. We do it twice. So it's two, two picks, two people. So the first person will get one of these little fans. So again, these aren't souvenirs. They're actually things that we use. So in hot weather, very common to see men and women using these fans. So this is a different design to Japan design. You see the, the flag there and the Nihon. So one of those. Uh, Hello Kitty fridge magnets. Again, we don't know who's getting these. We don't know how old those people are and we don't know who's in their family. So we just figure if we put a mix of stuff in there, there'll be something, you know, everybody can use a fridge magnet, right? It happens to be a Hello Kitty one. Some people will be happy with that. Hello Kitty fridge magnets. Uh, and a couple little snacks. So we've got the, we've got the eel. Yay. Gotta love eel. Wasabi. And then, oh, also, uh, Haichu, these yummy, chewy yummies, very yummy, hard to eat, just one, cherry flavour, and this person will also get a random box of snacks from Freedom Japanese markets that will look something like this, although it's not always the same, they tend to mix it up. Things like, things like Haichu, where the, ch the flavours change, they'll often put, if there's a new interesting flavour, they'll often put things like that, so their box is usually uh, mixed around a little bit, so you'll get a box of these, will be sent to your door directly from these guys, so these guys are based in Japan, they'll just send the box directly to you. So, also, other people, if you want to buy, <coughs> sorry, one of those boxes of, of candy from these guys, we'll put a link underneath this video. Because those guys have been good. They've give, been giving us a box every month to give to you guys, which is pretty generous, isn't it? So, again, just a random little uh, postcard picture of Japan just because we think it's a nice one. Uh, we're experiment, experimenting with different signs. Some people really like the toilet signs. So here's a toilet sign. <laughs> Amazing how many people ask us. We get these emails. Can you send one of those toilet signs to me in Germany? <laughs> All sorts of people want these. Just because it's different, isn't it? Everybody has a toilet, right? Everybody has a toilet room they could stick that on if they wanted to. Uh, and then from the guys at Fake Food Japan, Fake Food Japan have also donated some stuff for us to give to you guys. So they make some amazing stuff that looks very real that we showed you before. And this one, it's a key ring, and it's a gyoza. So... You haven't seen gyoza. We've done gyoza stories on our food and eating playlist. They're uh, sort of a soft, mm, soft dough thing on the out mm, dough, soft dough on the outside and meat on the inside. There's a word in English for these things. I can't what they're called now. What do you call that? Um, no doubt you guys will tell us. Gyoza, but it looks real, doesn't it? Looks yummy. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, something that nobody else you know has is that'll be an English friendly Japan sticker. Um, 10,000 yen. <clears throat> no, it's fake. And then the best thing of all, as always, is one of these traditional Japanese balloons. So it's made of pa uh, rice paper and uh, rice glue. Paper? No, no, paper and rice glue. And that's it. And it's got a hole in one end. And off you go. Hours and hours of fun for the whole family. <laughs> so this one's, this one's, uh, what do we got? There's a watermelon one. Bigger, bigger than that. It's actually bigger than that one. So a watermelon one and a tomato one. They're actually bigger than that one, so they're good fun. So that's, that's for the first person who's going to get all that. And that's going to be, uh, Sue. So again, we're not, not going to use last names on the internet because that wouldn't be right, would it? Sue from San Antonio, Texas in the USA. We'll be getting this stuff in the next week or so. We'll put it in the post this afternoon. And then, so we did a second draw. 
And the second drawer, uh, some similar stuff. So we've got the Hello Kitty fridge magnets. We've got, um, oh, apricot haichu. Apricot haichu. We hadn't seen these before. First time we saw them was a couple of days ago. Apricot haichu. Really good. Excellently excellent. And then, because this person's not getting the candy pack, this person, we're just going to throw a couple extra candy things in <clears throat> for this person. So, there's these things are really popular with the kids here. We might have showed, showed you these once before. There's three sort of like chewing gum, bubble gum type things in there. And two of them are normal and sweet and tasty and one of them's super sour. So the kids love it here because they, you know, three kids get together and it's like Russian roulette. <laughs> right, this one. And you see them chewing. We Actually, we did do a video. We did do a video and you see them chewing and then all of a sudden one of them goes, ah, because they got the sour one. Super sour. That's a bit of fun. Russian roulette with your family. Um... Uh, Again, Freedom Japanese Market, um, uh, Fake Food Japan, Fake Food Japan, have a look at this. <laughs> Isn't that excellent? So again, it's a key ring, look at octopus legs. Isn't that excellent? So real, I mean, they actually look wet. Ugh. Fabulous. Um, this person, instead of the toilet sign, we're going to do a no, a, a don't, no smoking sign. So again, these are hard plastic, so you can put them inside your house, outside your house, on the refrigerator, on a door, anywhere you want. Just a bit of fun. Uh, wasabi snack. Octopus snack, just in case the key ring puts you in the mood to eat some octopus. Uh, eel snack. Uh, a fan. Different design to the other one. You can see the design there at the bottom. Uh, English Random Japan sticker, lucky you. Fake 10,000 yen. Nice postcard, look at the colours. And then a keyring, this is a, another keyring, it's, uh, it's a Kudo keyring. So usually you don't sort of get these unless you actually do Kudo, but we happen to do a little bit of Kudo. So, so it's got a little target with a little arrow on it. And then another little thing that actually says Kudo in Japanese. So that's a pretty cool little thing. Usually you won't see these unless it's someone who actually does Kudo. So there's that. And then, last but not least, hours of fun for the whole family. Really is. So you, people go, what? It's pretty childish. And then you give them one of these and they go, oh yeah, it is good, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. The watermelon and the tomato. So this one's going to go to, oh, I'll apologise in advance, Vinicius, Vin, Vinicius, 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 in Brazil. I'm sorry, man. If I got your name, got your name wrong, I'm really sorry. Vinicius in Brazil. We'll be getting that second pack. So again, lots of thanks to you guys who've been supporting us on Patreon. We really appreciate that. We haven't reached our our goal yet we sort of got close to it and then it sort of stopped it seems that out of our 96,000 subscribers and you know 2,000 regular viewers that there's only 146 of you that um that want to support us on there it'd be good if we could reach the goal that would really be great just so that we feel like we've done what we what we aim to do reach the target so if you're not on patreon already and want to support us on patreon that'd be great and then if you're on Patreon, supporting us on Patreon, then you'll be in the running for this every month. So that'll be good. Oh, the book. Forgot. Um, we're also sending a copy of the How to Do Stuff in Japan book. This one will be going to uh, Johan in Holland. So Johan in Holland will get a copy of the English Friendly Japan How to Do Stuff in Japan book. The how to, how to Do Stuff in Japan book, it's called. <laughs> uh, it's still morning here in Japan, guys. It's uh, it's the second day of December and this video had to be done. So it's early in the morning and it's done. <laughs> we get it packaged up and off to the post office now. Thanks for watching. Thanks to you guys on Patreon for supporting us. We really appreciate it. 
it's really motivated us. In actual fact, this camera that we're using will be the last time we use it because we've got a new camera. Some people complaining this one's got a scratch on it and it catches the light and you can see the scratch sometimes. So we actually got a new camera to replace that one. So we couldn't have done that without the support on Patreon, so I appreciate that. And again, if you're not on there already, we'll put a link down underneath. Go and have a look because we post photos and videos on there that, we, that no one else sees. We, we post photos on there, in particular photos that people can copy and download themselves if they want them. And those photos, we only post them on Patreon. We don't post them anywhere else. So Patreon people are seeing photos and getting little stories that nobody else are getting. So if you want to be in on that, please click the link below. I'm going to have a look at Patreon and see how it works. Pretty straightforward. Thanks again for your support, everyone. More videos coming soon.